Because, you know, I think it's it's been great in terms of Bill walking through the design in detail, but anytime what I felt where there was open questions, they kind of were said okay and we moved on. Um, one area being uh, where our car is going to be allowed. Is, is in front of that building going to be 100% restored with no cars whatsoever? Um, what all, are all the seven vehicles, do we have the commitment from the board and the maintenance staff that they will, no matter what, always be parked in the building? Um, uh, the rest, the, in terms of the restoration, how does that budget fit in um, as part of the whole project? Because I don't think it's worth piecemealing this um, because I think as we all know when we were talking about earlier, the, the, the risk of going down a path without being cognizant of um, budget and risk. And I think, and then the, the drive-through of being able to exit the vehicle on that side, no one has yet addressed whether the cars will be using that path to turn around or in any capacity. So I think yeah. those things at, at a high level in terms of the second theme of this, of you know alternatives, budget, and, and some of these open questions um, for me is, is why I, I object to the current design proposal and, and I believe that you know why we have another 200 people in the community um, that are sympathetic to those views and and in no way do I, I say that I speak for the community in any way all I know is is the opinions that have been shared with me from from community members um, and I just want to make sure that you're aware of that in your decision going forward thank you Thank you. Um, before we get to any other comments, Bill, could you address the issue of potential vehicular movement um, in and around the building? Sure. Uh, I, I had thought we had uh, mentioned it a bunch of times, so I'm happy to um, indicate the efforts again. Um, the, the goal from the start is to be able to, at night, put all the vehicles inside locked away. Uh, I don't see why that can't happen with the current square footage. It would be fantastic to double the size of the courts, double the size of the building, blah, blah, blah. But you know, given the fact that um, we've already pressed the, the staff to try to accept uh, you know, a level of square footage that's, um, that's less than what they originally wanted or hoping for, um, I, I think this is the compromise that does allow you to get all the equipment in behind the, uh, behind the fence and, or in the building one way or another. Um, there is no other parking outside or any parking lot. Um, I was surprised to even hear yeah. thoughts about that. Uh, and in terms of, so in terms of the day-to-day -day operations, uh, you have the crew coming in fairly early and, and uh, obviously would be getting the uh, equipment out uh, into the field as they work on you know, any typical day for whatever the needs are that day. So out of the of the courtyard uh, on probably the, the west side. Um, and so, the, you know, if there, for in terms of traffic, uh, operations kind of traffic, I would see that, you know, mostly happening at, at this end. And uh, of course there are times when they will, either to access down on this end of the park or through the panhandle, be moving vehicles along this side. I pointed out the 15th three clear here. There's plenty of other room here, just as there is currently uh, in you know in this area to be able to move vehicles through. Now, the, the, the sort of aesthetically, the nicest way to do that, or the best way to treat the ground, is something that again, the landscape architect would, would you know best uh, suggest. And fortunately, you know, the district has the ability to implement whatever implement whatever kind of landscape plan they want because that's what we do, that's what the staff does. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility and efficiency in terms of like how that actually is addressed. So, uh, in terms of getting into this area and out of this area, we stood there the other day. Uh, it may be hard for, for someone who doesn't visualize 3D space as well to, to picture how you can do that given, you know, this building that's there. Once that building's gone, it's really, easy to, to kind of pull out and turn around. It won't be necessary to drive a quarter of a mile down and turn around. So either getting in here or getting out of here, um, I, I don't see any problem with that. Uh, we're working with site constraints that are that are realistic in trying to, to figure out the best way to do that, but I think that this is serviceable and usable you know, on, in an operations.
down is in a basement mixing up the medicine I'm on a pavement